we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right with Everyday Blythe and we are talking about a trip that we took around five or six, was it six? Six, six seven six, counting hours. Seven different states in uh, just the last couple of weeks to find out where we could possibly move away from Washington. We started our trip by heading east and stopped in Tri-Cities for a night and then decided to drive straight through Spokane as it really wasn't worth stopping in. Homeless people in Spokane. Well, it kind of looks like Portland. So our first stop was Coeur d'Alene and we really, really liked it. Coming from Vancouver, Vancouver area, the Vancouver area has about 180,000 people and a few other little cities sprinkled around it. Uh, Coeur d'Alene is only 50,000 people. Um, so it's big enough to have nice stores. I thought they had all the shops you need, yeah, yeah. for the most part. And the weather's better. It's so much better. Somewhat, somewhat yeah. better. It rains like a third less, uh, but it snows way more. We get about three three inches annually, and it averages, I think, 42 in Coeur d'Alene, so quite a bit different. The lake was really pretty. There, there are um, resort, resort-type hotels around the lake, but then there's also a really great playground. Go on the slide? Yeah. Yeah, sit. And there's tennis courts and basketball courts. I think they had a swimming pool. Thank yeah, they're installing like a seasonal ice rink outdoors, uh, kind of right in the center of the downtown. So it's probably really charming, really nice. Uh, there's hiking too. There's like hills that you can go explore. There's nice neighborhoods. And there are a lot of nice houses. We spotted some oh, yeah. great historic oh, houses. older homes there, especially along uh, the lake shore and the neighborhoods near the lake. Um, so I think some of them have views directly out over the lake. Our favorite house is a brick home with the tile roof. think it is that we're going to? I don't know. And where are we? Tell the camera. We are in Portland. Idaho! Idaho! Alright. Idaho! I think it's a museum. I think it's candy or ice cream. It could be anything. You think it's something for kids or adults? Kids. Kids? And, and it's probably a toy store or something like that. Fig Pickles was an awesome toy store in Coeur d'Alene. Um, I wasn't able to film much in there, but Valentina got this necklace where you get a pearl out of an oyster and then put it together. And so that's what they were working on back in our hotel. One thing we've seen in most of the states we've visited are these older um, wooden playgrounds. Um, that are a lot of times more kid sized and that they have a lot of little nooks and crannies and hiding spaces that the kids love to play in. In this one, the Fort Sherman playground was designed and built with kids um, and they had a lot of fun on it. Autopilot! Now I bet you're wondering where you want to go. 
got these fantastic foods. They are ultra weather resistant micro suede shoes from Thursday. Show your trends, y'all. Portland, Idaho was a big win for us. Now, of course, because it is so beautiful and it has become quite popular, the real estate prices have gone up a lot, but it still remains one of our favorite places on this trip. So after Idaho, we moved on to Montana. Montana, and our first stop was the city of Missoula. So Missoula was not the greatest. It was not the worst city we went to on the trip. No. But it wasn't the best either. No. So we are in Missoula, Montana. And we really don't like it. Um, it's kind of flat. Well, okay. The city itself is flat, but it's surrounded by mountains. And so the countryside is really beautiful. Um, it's beautiful hills, lots of gorgeous trees. We, we saw a lot of cows and farms and it was nice, it was pretty. But then as soon as you get into town, you start feeling that it's a little bit grungier, a little bit older, not as well taken care of. Missoula is gonna be just a pass through town for us. It's a wedding. Now in fairness to Missoula, I should note that they did have some nice historical buildings and a river that runs right through the center of town and a big wooden playground that the kids spent a lot of time on before we moved on to the next town. So Missoula wasn't the town for us, but who knows, maybe this next town could be. But before we could even get to our next planned destination, we ended up in what was once known as the richest hill on earth, Butte, Montana. Because of the extensive mineral deposits beneath this hill, Butte once had the highest income per capita in the world. Now it feels just like a shadow of its former self. Very quiet, almost no one in the streets, but still you can feel the history here. This place is much older than I realized. They have ancient pictures of dinosaurs. So, guessing pretty Paleolithic. I'm kind of guessing that's Jesus, but I'm not really sure why he's in a place otherwise surrounded by dinosaurs like these ones. Bozeman, Montana. This one was a big surprise for us because we had no idea what to expect but ended up really liking it. I think the things we liked most are that it felt like it had four real seasons. It felt kind of like Bend, Oregon to me, but had some downtown areas that felt like Portland before people started looting and burning it, but also some new modern neighborhoods with all the modern farmhouses and other popular styles. 
It also had lots of good coffee, beautiful open parks, and people hiking and mountain biking everywhere. It just had a great feel. A little bit more of a concern for us are that it gets more than 60 inches of snow compared to our current three. And because it seems to be such a likable place, the real estate prices aren't exactly cheap either. We'd have to see what it's like to spend a little more time there, but we're going to bookmark this one and head back. Hey, I think that this one is a contender. to Billings, Montana. This is quite the contrast from our last stop as this is the biggest city in Montana with over 100,000 people and also has some of the highest crime rates we saw on the entire trip, not just Montana. So we knew that this really wasn't going to be a place for us or even a place that we were very interested in poking around. So we took our kids to Zoo, Montana and you can enjoy the end of part one by seeing some of the great animals and the fun we had there at that beautiful zoo. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in part two.